What's up everyone, Kate is here and today I'd like to take you through a brief overview of the JetSmart Filters plugin update. So this is going to be a real quick and mostly talkative video because most of the changes that took place in this new 2.3.3 version are invisible to your eye and actually to my eye too. Um, but to be honest, uh, some immense work has been done to the plugin code by our developers throughout the past couple of months. And I can say for sure that apart from bug fixing, which, you know, by the way, thank you so much for reporting the things that we happen to miss when testing. Um, yeah, so some serious uh, code refactoring has been done to the index of feature. And why? Because like previously, we were kind of limited in our action due to old and junky code. And as a matter of fact, this had to happen someday. So this day has come and congrats to all of us. Basically, our goal was to automate the indexer feature, automate the processes, and free you up from this constant manual indexing. And on the other hand, uh, we decided not to abandon this feature completely, right? We decided to add a new option to the indexer settings and give you guys an opportunity to decide what works best for you and your projects. So basically, once the use auto re-indexing option is enabled in the indexes settings, all the data inside the filters and posts of yours uh, will be automatically re-indexed. And also, thanks to the code refactoring that took place, right now the indexer's behavior is different, you know, it has been optimized, meaning that it works faster now. And yes, guys, it works much faster than it used to. You know, you might not notice the difference uh, if you are working with a small number of posts, but if you're the guy who has like 20 or 30,000 post items that need to be indexed in your dashboard, um, I'm, you know, I'm 100% sure that you will see the difference. As you know, we have all sorts of providers that basically ensure the proper work of filters. I mean, like this compatibilities with Elementor, WooBuilder, and Jet Engine. So we try to do as much as possible to make it work, to make it work smoothly and properly with no issues or anything like that. And also uh, the integrations of Indexer with Query Builder or Glossaries as of now work just fine. So. Thanks a lot to our devs. Yes, Indexer is working just fine with custom content types. It is indexing almost everything except for the checkboxes. And yeah, guys, unfortunately, as of now, it is kind of impossible to implement it uh, because it turned out that it's a very tricky thing from the technical point of view. So just keep in mind that you are free to use Indexer with all other fields and filters except for the checkboxes. For the next update, if I'm not mistaken, we plan on concentrating more attention on the UX and UI things, uh, just you know, to make uh, JetSmart Filters plugin even more user-friendly and easy to use. So that was it for today. I hope this video was useful and informative for you. Thank you so much for watching. And also guys, just don't forget to share your thoughts right in the comments below this video. What do you think about the new JetSmart Filters update? As well as like our videos, subscribe to our channel and join our friendly Facebook community. Cheers guys.